back after a few uh, technical maladies which we had to uh, fix. Um, yeah, Greg, you still there, mate? I'm here. Oh, good man, good man. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll put that behind us and crack on as best we can. Can you, you see the stream okay? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, watching the Excellent. whole thing. Looks good. Good, good, good. Um, and I was delighted to inform you, Greg, that uh, Will's weather radar works perfectly. <sighs> There's everything that's coming. So I, I'm going to request a bonus point for Will from Kobayashi Maru for <laughs> providing us oh, with that level of detail, <laughs> which we've never had before. <laughs> so, well, just don't touch it, Will, for God's sake. Um, <laughs> Whatever you do. <laughs> <laughs> Leave. I don't care what your brake balance and sit traction control are. Uh, no, leave it we where don't it is. I don't know if anybody's before or behind. <laughs> just yes, keep it on. <laughs> oh, it dear. So, just getting <laughs> back on top of things, we've got Dan who is in first and putting away not massively quickly, but 5.6 seconds ahead of Willie, who's 5.8 ahead of Merchilago, who now has Johnny Mackers approaching his rear. Oh, no. Did have Johnny Mackers approaching his rear end. Oh, Johnny. Oof. Oh, he started on mediums. Did he? he yes, did. he did. So Mackers this is his did, first yes. stop. So what What do you go on? <laughs> oh, God, I don't know. And he's only I stopping mean, for fuel. His tires look great. Yeah, I think that's probably what he's going to do. Um, full tank. Another set of mediums. Uh Willie ha Willie's weather radar in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen is... Uh, sorry, I have to remember that I'm <laughs> steering the screen now. I'm not <laughs> splitting <you> about <laughs> like I usually do. So sorry sorry about that, uh, viewer. Um, yeah, they're showing no weather at all. So, OK, we've got a, a flurry of stops. We've got Johnny Mackers, MacGyver, Airport Hobo. I'm guessing they're all the guys who started on mediums. And this is their first stop, and may, may be the only one, weather depending. Yeah, so Johnny changed for a fresh set of medium boots. As did MacGyver. And Splatter in eighth. Uh, airport Hobo in the McLaren. Uh, McLaren uh, in ninth again with fresh boots on and two thirds of uh, three quarters of a tank. Sorry, uh, Viley's also stopped. So, yeah, all these guys have just stopped and uh, made their first stops. Dan's into the 157s now. I guess you'd expect, given the drying conditions. Yeah, you can see the um, sort of what did Greg call it hydrometer, the dampometer in the bottom left there. Uh, <laughs> the is, wet uh, stick. The wet. <laughs> yeah. The dipstick. Yeah. We don't uh, dipstick. Dipstick. <laughs> I got lipstick on my dipstick. <laughs> <laughs> What's the? Uh, wasn't it she uh, Sheriff Roscoe P. Coltrane he used to call everyone a dipstick? Yeah, dipstick. Dipstick. Come on, Flash. What do you do, boys? What is it those guys called themselves in the, one of the special events? The Dudes of Hazard. <laughs> That's me, it's me and Dalo. Oh, you genius. So we we got a um, a Dukes of Hazard logo, and then put a white square over the K in the middle, and then put a D over the top of that. So it reads uh, Dudes of Hazard rather than Dukes. <laughs> Colours are probably all all wrong, knowing because I did it. Oh, rain is here. Oh, it's and it's coming down, man. All right, hang on, quick check with our weatherman. Oh <laughs> yeah, look at that. Oh my God. There is heavy rain. <laughs> <laughs> there is heavy rain. It not well. It's a bit patchy, but look at the the dampometer has rocketed right up. Yeah, that that shot. sort of what's the what's the stuff? What's the sort of brighter color on the weather radar, Greg? Is that yellow or the green or something? Uh, yeah, it's it's heavy rain. Heavy rain. Yeah, 
<laughs> so, Red and yellow. We've already got a Mustang. Oh, that's just split off. And Sherlock is off. Dan and Sherlock. Oh, oh. <laughs> Willie Hub. It's oh, Cottage. And now Willie. Oh, here it comes. Oh, my God. Oh, oh they're backwards of each other. <laughs> they was, it was almost like they were dancing with each other there. Oh, it's a goat cluster for sure. It is. Oh, and but Willie, Willie, oh, just slid off into Willie, the grass. Willie, oh, my God. Uh, this is absolute. Sherlock is out. <laughs> Cows, cats, and dogs living together. Oh. <laughs> King Racer is. Johnny Mackers and Sheila, uh, Airport oh. Hobo, are still racing somehow. Oh. <laughs> My friend Angus would say, it's pissing doing the rain. <laughs> well, yes. It, it, that changed very quickly, oh. didn't it? Oh, yeah. I, I hate to oh, say Airport it's quite good. Well, it's, it, it's got less predictable. I mean, look at them. <laughs> They're doing 40 miles an hour. <laughs> <And it was. laughs> we, we shouldn't laugh yeah but, uh, no but we're this gonna is, <laughs> this is just absolute kill. oh no okay Blanche and Rue is just oh god <laughs> oh you know they're just absolutely oh, miserable out there <laughs> but Justin uh, brought that back to track beautifully yeah he finished I that up. he did say. that really good um, job gotta say uh, Mackers is sliding back backwards with, with his tires completely locked so Darley Boys just said this. Rem- I can't. Darley Boys says this reminds me of the film Heartbreak Ridge. <laughs> Spidey's just it's gone. Really cl- Spidey somehow is muddy he- hillside. I oh, can't see the rest of what he said, but uh, yeah. I- and the penalty and Marcus system is- just added insult to injury. Yeah, thanks. Oh, oh no, go no. <laughs> your roof just gone round. Cones flying everywhere. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> And that's just what you want. <laughs> Mud all over your... Uh... Oh, my oh, God. Airport Hobo just... Oh, look. It's, it's like he's a ballet dancer. Airport Hobo. <laughs> Looks well, like driver a... training for toddlers. <laughs> I mean, that, that's the oh problem. You, you just, you, you, there's absolutely nothing you can do to keep the bloody no. thing straight. It, there's no, absolutely not nothing you can do. So Willie Ham's driving with his turn signal on like an old man at the overpass. Yeah, so Dan's Uh-oh. now out on oh, inters. I'm just wondering what the... If it it tips sure it, no, no, Willie's gone off. No. It's quite Darlo boy. Is this racing or figure skating? Um, <laughs> That's not... It's neither. It's, <laughs> this is... it's nothing that balletic. <laughs> yeah, this is... Uh... <laughs> More like ice okay, hockey so sure. than ice skates. Yeah, it is more like uh, ice hockey except with no skates. So Sherlock has gone on full wets, which is kind of looking like the idea right now to have. Well, they get another couple of downpour. Yeah, it is. It's definitely full wet territory now because oh. it, it's gone above the bar on the dampometer. It's gone to above the second bar with a little blue bit on top, which always confuses me because yeah. I'm not quite sure what that exactly means. But and there's I just... Yeah, yeah, Dolly Boy, say. absolutely right. I just saw Dan lose the front end. I'm and Viney's pissed. off. He's still on the mediums. Oh my He's god, is de- he? <laughs> Viney is desperately trying to get into the pit. He's just doing, doing 20 miles 20 an hour. 20 miles an hour now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just, okay. God help me. Johnny's into the pit, oh, and no. he's out on the full wets. Okay. Yeah, he Kate can't get that old car to stay on. Oh, is on geez. inters. Okay. Where is he? There he is. Spivey <laughs> on inters. So what was that? Lap 14? 13, 14, where the uh, carnage happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I believe so. Um, we don't get a replay to see what all happened, but uh, I guarantee no, indeed, you, indeed. it was uh, it was glorious. <laughs> when it happened very quickly, didn't it? It went it's from people so driving nice. very quickly on uh, mediums <laughs> to not being able to drive at all. <laughs> it escalated very quickly. It escalated, uh, yeah. So Max Mackers is on full wets, and he's right behind Dan. So let's see if the full wets were the tire, because he could he could unlap himself here. Right behind, okay. Right behind Dan East. <laughs> yes. yes uh, oh, he's he a lot quicker. A lot quicker out of the corners. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. Himself. Yeah, I didn't say. Uh... And Mackers is down there in P11. 
But I guess they had to make the call, didn't they? And I think you, you, know, you look at the oh, weather yeah. radar, and it's so it's, it's absolutely bone dry again now, according to weatherman Willie. Yeah, and the fact that there are no wipers going. Okay. So we got Mackers on full wets and MacGyver on full wets. Uh, Splatter, Sherlock on full wets. It's drying out again fairly quickly with no. Well, we're only at half race distance, yeah. so there could be an awful lot more to come. Well, Viney's on full wets now, just coming out of the pit. <laughs> well, I left that a bit late. But, um... Just a bit. And maybe more a measure of his frustration than anything else. <laughs> I know I wouldn't yeah. be happy about it. Yeah, so Dale boys just said, <clears throat> put laughing emoji, weatherman Willie, and the, the damp stick on the left. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I don't know how we come up with it, Dale boy, or how we get away with doing it every week, frankly. So, uh, there the we go. The damp stick. The damp stick. See, that's the thing about Dale boy, he, he finds common ground. <laughs> But the track seems to be drying out again very quickly. Definitely a dry line appearing. Definitely a dry line appearing already. So actually, from, from specifically from you know a viewing point of view, I think if they let the track dry out and then they're absolutely pissed down again for about a minute just when everyone switched to mediums that, that would that would do wonders for our viewing figures oh i should think that you get views way up absolutely yeah so uh lord knows we need more eyeballs yeah we need more drivers we could always do with more eyeballs for sure yeah you're right darling boy I'm sure Maccas is fuming it's uh it's just one of those things they would have you know the weather radar only tells you so much and uh it's certainly uh came down pretty quick and pretty hard <laughs> it was absolute carnage absolute carnage um, Ooh, lots of racing going on between p5 and p7 okay yeah so we got merchantago on his own in third sherlock on his own in fourth so we got airport hobo with splatter for company splatter on full wet so we've got fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh all together here. Mac <laughs> MacGyver drifting it on his full wet. So we've got Airport Hobo and King Racer on inters, which are about to come into their own, I imagine. And um, the other two, Splatter and MacGyver, on the full wet. So yeah, it's drying out like mad, right? I'm just gonna sort of keep doing this for you. I'm just gonna check, <coughs> check with the weatherman. Yeah, nothing coming so far. Sorry, there we go. So Travis has managed to pull away a bit, but sixth, seventh, and eighth are all together. Yeah, so I expect to see, unless we have any more weather come in, that the Splatter and MacGyver on full wets are going to start losing traction. Crikey, what happened there? Wow! Not quite sure what happened there. Splatter nearly stopped before he smashed into Viney. MacGyver went <laughs> absolutely barrel assing through. I think King Racer must have tagged Viney because he's got a three-second penalty. Oh, <laughs> just tried to do it one. again. Jeez. Blind MacGyver's oh. into the pits. God, it's all going on here. Yeah, MacGyver's in the pits with a huge penalty. Okay. I wonder if that King Racer was on. Uh... 
Is that a pit? pit I don't think you can get a pit, pit violation. violation going in. They usually get you coming out. Well, he's got yeah. Three seconds just seems like because that's that's the penalty you get when you cross the line, isn't it? And mm -hmm. uh, yep. I think if you really T-bone someone, that's like more like four or five points. But uh, I think Splatter got six for some utterly bizarre reason. Oh, here Last it comes week. out of the pits. Oh, my God. Just just doing a pirouette. Oh, really? MacGyver, okay. yeah. Okay. Oh, right. <laughs> what, what Jeez. A, okay. <laughs> He's clean off. What's he uh, got on? He's got on to he mediums. He's mediums. Oh, <laughs> oh, Lordy. Wow. Okay. I mean, the dry line is okay for mediums, but the pit is always the dodgy bit, isn't it? You look at the track and oh, say, absolutely. yeah, it's okay for mediums, but because the, the, obviously the pit lane is very rarely driven on, so it doesn't dry out as quick. It does so, not, and um, of course there's white lines everywhere too, and if you touch one, you're gone. Yeah, as we know from the Red Bull ring, that's uh, pit exits are perilous. And hilarious. And to let, well, yeah, there is that. Um, so Kobayashi Maru in ninth, Spivey in eighth, uh, Splatter in seventh on the wets. Uh, King Racer just about to serve his three second penalty, so Splatter should be hurtling past him at a rate of knots. Have to go onto the wet yeah, line probably, done. but uh, oh no, he's okay. Oh, he must get him shorty. Here comes Splatter. Right there past we go. The okay. Cool, that was closer than I thought it was going to be. And Matt MacGyver will be serving his pretty soon. He's also doing a fair job of staying on the dry line. Okay. Good. Dardo Boys just said I don't even want to talk about pit exits after, <laughs> after oh, his yeah. uh, the no. Red Bull ring. Yeah, I, I, I get that, mate. <laughs> I, I, I get that. I get that. Yeah, I remember watching it. and uh, Yes, I, I think I... Um, Remarks. I couldn't watch it anymore because uh, it was like kicking a puppy. Uh, something along those lines, anyway. <laughs> so that's sp right. Splatters into the pits. <clears throat> Spivey's gone a bit wide. So Spivey's up seventh. King Racer is sixth. Airport Hobo is fifth. He's got a bit of distance between himself and everybody else. So he just needs to keep it on track to bring home fifth. Sheer luck. If also we've got Willie Hammer and Merchant Logo. Oh, Splatter's gone oh, to the medium yeah. with uh, predictable yeah. results coming out of the pits. Oh, really? Yeah, okay, yeah. well, let's have a look. Cause I, okay, we'll keep an eye on Willie and Richard Argo. Okay, Willie's just changed. We need to watch him come out of the pits if it's... Uh, I think Dan stayed on Inters, isn't he? Yeah. Oh. Uh, can't... Yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> wow. And then let's do likewise oh, for Richard Argo. Yeah, I just rewound um, uh, Splatter coming out of the pits, and he never touched a white line, but just did a pirouette, a complete 360. Oh, well, Merchant Argo has nailed that. Clean as a whistle? How's he done that? Oh, I have no idea. Because maybe you're not had, driving. Maybe, maybe he had full opposite lock on or something. <laughs> maybe so, but I mean, honestly, you're not driving when that happens, you know? No, you've it's... got absolutely no control over it at all, so... Um... Although, yeah, he's yeah, the only it's one on who's come out. drive coming out. I'm sorry. Yeah, he, he seems to be the only guy who's made it out of the pits in a straight line with the uh, mediums yeah. on. So, um... <clears throat> yeah, and sorry for all this crosstalk. Uh, there's there's a bit of a delay between uh, Texas and Great Britain for some reason. Yes. Five thousand miles of uh, Atlantic cable, perhaps. Indeed. Uh, okay, apparently uh, Merchant Argo had full traction control with his feet off everything. <laughs> so that, that may explain that then. Brilliant maneuver. Uh, yeah, definitely okay. wanted to tell the rest of the kids. So Okay, uh, Airport Hobo's then getting a full load, so is Dan East. So Dan is in. So Willie is still indicating that he wants to turn right. <clears throat> Someone needs to tell Grandpa to turn off his signal. Yeah. Yeah, Hobo's out. Need his opinion. Oh, he was out for a minute, and as soon as he hit the gas, he was gone. Oh, what he did? He lost it there as well. Okay. Oh. Right, let's see how. Let's see if Dan yeah, can get Dan, out of the pits. Here comes Dan. Here comes Dan. Let's see. All right, does he have traction control on? Yes, he does. He's crossed the white lines. 
Oh, he's going to okay. get a penalty for that. Well, he's he's out playing. Yeah. He's out playing. This splatter he's comes out splatter. from nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> they come out and greet each other. Yeah, quite. So yeah, give each other a sniff like a couple of puppies. Indeed, indeed. So Dan needs to warm okay. those mediums up as much as he can <laughs> and then stick on the dry line. Oof. Which he did not just then. Okay, so we got, what's that, 12 laps to go. Still got a massive lead. He has, I just, um, oh. yeah, flicking back to uh, Willie every Ooh, now and MacGyver. then just to make sure. MacGyver's having a devil of a time on those mediums. Okay, uh, which position is he in? I can't Ten. see. Ten, okay, so we go up. Da, da, da. <clears throat> yeah, it's just you've got, to, you've got to concentrate so hard, haven't you, to keep it on the dry line, stay away from the curves. Oh, yeah. Viney is on the full wets. I think he's getting into the pits now. Yep, he's just now getting into the pits. Ever so slowly. Okay. Yeah, he's getting off those full wet tires. Yeah, got Johnny Macker's back in 11th. Although someone has... Oh, MacGyver's off. Yep. Oh, it's just pure soup at this point. Yeah, oh, God, he's... Yeah. So it's two loads of gravel he's been in uh, <laughs> with the mediums, which are not going to oh. help traction. <laughs> Or uh, Adam just came out of the pits and he did about oh, he, 980. Yeah, he's, oh, he's still there, isn't he? He's like, <clears> oh, King my Racer, goodness. Same. Woo, there it goes. Uh, honestly, it's the ice capades. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. I... It's no good is coming out of this. No. <laughs> well, you can see where they're coming out of the pits. It's absolutely soaking wet. Oh, now he's been reset. That's gonna. That's really going to please him. He mm. cut. He cut across the corner one, and uh, right now he can't watch that anymore. Okay, uh, the guy was going to back end out there, but uh, keeping it on the track. I got Johnny Mackers. It's coming down to start finish straight with Sheerluck. Oh, with Sheerluck for company, although Sheerluck's in fourth, so we'll be getting a blue flag. The one bright silver lining of all this is that everybody is in the same boat here. It's yeah. not just one or two drivers. No, That's funny. no. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I just watch Adam go completely off into the well, runoff area. Well, uh, Mackers has just done... Whoa, <laughs> Christ, Viney's just there with him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he and Viney are, are having a little meeting. Yeah, oh, yeah, wow. <laughs> okay, well, let's... Uh leave this mayhem behind and see how Justin's getting on. Uh, so hey. Justin is in ninth, coming up behind Splatter. Both on the mediums now, I think. Yeah. Justin? Oh, yeah. Justin, are you sure you didn't put us on Lake Louise? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. God, that's an awful track, isn't it? <laughs> Not even with snow tires. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, Kobe Ashimaru is looking clean. He's coming right up on uh, on Splatter. Yes, he is. Oh, yep. Yeah. He goes into Exit. the barrier. Exit. <laughs> Stage right. Hey, a 540 even. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Snagglepuss, wasn't it? Snagglepuss. <laughs> Exit stage right. <laughs> stage right. <laughs> <laughs> it was a spin, a pirouette even. Indeed, <laughs> indeed. So K by Ashibaru goes marching up into eighth position. Um, he's probably done in terms of his stops, unless uh, the rain comes down again. It's interesting. I haven't been totting up how many stops everyone's made so far, but I think some of the guys have made three or four. It's awfully hard at this point. They've had to stop so many times yeah. with the tires going haywire. Okay, 
just in just uh, Sherlock's case. coming off of his wet tires now. He's still in fourth. Okay. So we've got King Racer in seventh. Oh, crikey. Was that Willie? I think it was. Willie's cover cropper. Merchilago is through into second. Airport Hobo 6th. Spivey's up in 5th. Still on the Inters. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Looking at the replay. Yeah, Willie went straight into the gravel. And King Racer is off into the, uh, into the oh, grass. Oh, blimey. Okay. Oy. Whoa! That was... That was Viney, I think. Again, I just saw out of shot. Sorry for uh, the chaotic, uh, the chaotic <laughs> comms this evening. It's it's very difficult oh, to uh, keep an eye on who's doing what and who's flying off where. So, um, uh, Merchilago had a bad off. That may have been somebody else, uh, one of the back markers that went off in front of him. Okay, yeah, he's back down into third. Nope, it was all him. Uh, we'll just check with Willie Weather <clears throat> and. No, still showing is clear. Whether it remains like that for the last um, nine laps, we shall see. Well, the track's looking bone dry in the dry line. There's, there's not a speck is. of dry or wet. That's exactly what it looked like before it pissed down last time. <laughs> it's right. <laughs> not, not that we're praying for it to happen. Indeed. Uh, good evening, Sunday Persian driver. Up who looks like he's part of the Bandits Club. Welcome aboard, my friend. So Dan is now 25 ahead of Willie after these uh, spins and whatnot. Oh, no, Merchilago's <laughs> just <laughs> binned it again. Coming through the uh, chicane, I think it was. The, um, no, the right-hander. Yeah, the, the fast chicane bit, yeah. Okay, so... But he's got sheer luck oh. in fourth. There's a minute behind him. And Reinhardt made every effort to avoid the curbs and still couldn't control it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. Chaos. Let's say. <laughs> Let's have a look at Dan. Here's yeah, 26 ahead, but we've already seen how this weather setting can uh, throw something of a spanner in the works. So uh, we'll keep our eyes on this. Okay, so <laughs> oh, that fight is just oh, man, he's just done a 720. He's got his got his car into the wet. I think he was trying to get out of Dan's <laughs> getting out of Dan's way. He went onto the wet line and then was like a spinning top frankly so uh, okay so Dan seems like oh he's got, got Spivey to deal with yeah so Spivey takes the outside line goes wide well done Okay, so Dan's thing's quite settled. Uh, Willie is now 27 back of Dan, and 11 and a half ahead of Mercia Largo. Seems uh, hell bent on running over the curb still. Whoa, yeah. Okay. Mm, there goes Airport Hobo. Yeah, so the dry line is nice and wide now. Airport Hobo. <coughs> so, yeah, uh, Sherlock is 136 back from Merchilago. Spivey still up in fifth, dude. <laughs> a hell of a job. So, it'd be interesting to see how far Dan gets through the, uh, the pack, because he's just lapped Spivey, who's in fifth. You've got a feel for the drivers who are getting the blue flags because when they try to move over, they go straight into the wet uh, line. It's just like, yeah, I'd, you know, if that was me, I'd say, sorry, you're going to have to wait until there's a nice wide bit that we can both share because <laughs> yeah. I'm buggered if I'm going on that. 
I know, I know, slowing you, I know, I know I'm slowing you down, but I'm not going to ruin my race for this. So, um, no. so yeah, I think a, a bit of uh, a bit of empathy there from the overtaking drivers would probably be good. So Spivey stood on the intermediates and is going into the wet line to cool his tyres down, which it seems like a very sensible thing to do. He's got 35 seconds ahead of Airport Hobo, so this could be Spivey's best finish ever. If he keeps it going, I think he's probably got enough fuel, so... Keep it up, mate. Good stuff. He certainly has enough fuel. Does he have enough tyres? Well, if he keeps going into the wet, I don't see why not. Well, he okay. better hope it stays wet. Oh, no! Airport Hobo just span was coming out of his turn and just tagged king racer oh, king absolutely racer. Oh. absolutely t-boned him oh, and now king no. racers now, now king racers tires are all knackered and dirty so yeah. he's, and oh, hobo's hang on no, 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 watch out watch out watch out no, oh, oh, okay thank you <laughs> jesus h christ that that could have been of comedic oh, proportions there wow oh, okay God. but johnny macker sails through no doubt wiping his brow as he does so. Thinking that was bloody close. Shoo! That, that just made Johnny's evening, I think, if that had happened. Exactly. <laughs> Finished yeah, that it brought off. Splatter back into the mix, too. Fighting for P8. Okay, so we've got Cable Ashmaru still in sixth. Or no, up into sixth now after that uh, coming together. Johnny in seventh. King Racer in eighth with his car bent in half, but now has um, Splatter for company, as you rightly say, Greg. So we've got the two Porsches battling it out for P8 and 9. <laughs> yes, indeed, Darlo boy. I think his butt cheeks were chewing on the seat, on the seat at that point. <laughs> oh, I think he pulled up the upholstery. Yeah, indeed. Uh, New chair. Doctor, I'm not sure how that spring got there. Yeah, and new underwear required. Indeed. <clears throat> so about on as even between the two Porsches in terms of tire wear and fuel. I suspect it's going to be uh, whoever can keep it off the curbs and on the dry line. Uh, have a ride on with Splatter. Ooh, Splatter's making to, uh... a bid for yeah, King Racer. Here Whoa! The Porsche boys through the chicane. Yeah, Splatter Blimey. backed out. Okay, yeah, no, King Racer's, I think, oh no, he's pulling into the pits. Ah, that's why I gave it back, okay. Hang on. Yeah, absolutely. Hang on, I need to skip up to Willie quickly. Here comes the rain! <laughs> no! <laughs> I mean... Uh, there's wow. some absolute, there's some <laughs> real, real heavy downpours coming. I wonder why the hell uh, King Racer was going in because he had great tyres and fuel. But um, okay, I'm just trying to oh. work out which way that raid's going because there's some really heavy downpours, but they don't look very big, and they might miss all together, frankly. Can you tell who all's got their radar on their weather radar? Who else has? Yeah, do you know who else has? I can't see. Oh, it, it, it's oh, Kavani's just spun again. It's only Willy, from what I can tell. Uh, Although okay. I'm, I'm not sure why. I'm, I'm pretty sure they've. We tried this before and it didn't work. So God knows why it is. No, okay. So it looks like oh, a. Oh, Viney. It, yeah, the weather is moving away from the track, so we could be dry for the rest of the race. West of the waste. Sound like Elmer Fudd. <laughs> Waskel wet it. <laughs> okay. All right, so Dan is on his own. 32 seconds ahead. Um, <coughs> Willie. Willie Weather, as I'm going to call him now. Um, 13 ahead of Merchidago in third. Weatherman Willie. And Viney's <laughs> parked facing the wrong way on the start-finish straight. 
Cloudy with a chance of second. Oh, yeah. oh much of that gets a bit switchy there, but he's a minute ahead of sheer luck. But right. I assume. Uh, uh, well, yes, well done for pointing that out, Darlo. Boy, I should have been able to work that out myself. But um, saying the wind was 4.4 north, so it was blowing the weather away from the track. There you go. How is Darlo Boy figuring this out? Well, because it's telling you, well, that's a very good point. I assume the, well, I don't know, is the track? I don't know. He's done it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well done, Andy. Well done, Andy. <laughs> Andy, are you the one that cursed my computer? Yes, I think you may be a witch. Yeah, Andy. Burn him! Burn him! Uh, so, Sherlock in fourth, who's 50 seconds ahead of Spivey. He's doing an epic job uh, on those inters. I think he's got fuel for the rest of the race. He's got, what, five and a half laps left to do. He needs to be dunking them in the... Um, in the wet occasionally uh, but he's got a 35 second lead over Johnny at the moment yeah close to 35 percent of his fuel left for six laps I'd say he's gonna be fine I think he's gonna be uh... uh track on the road track on the radar always shows true north ah mm. well I remember that I'll remember that well actually in fact no, Greg you remember that my, my brain's full of other much more important stuff. I'll so do you remember the best that I can. <laughs> I can. I can't remember what side of my mouth to chew on most days, but I'll try. Yeah, okay, okay, good man, good man. Uh, we'll both try then. So Spivey, yeah, fifth. Johnny Mackers in sixth. Uh, he's doing 201s. So, and the, ooh, airport hub on, and the splatter are smacking around. Okay, by Ashimaru, who's... Yeah, three ahead of Splatter. Yeah, we're there for Hobo for company. Yeah, I think Splatter and Airport Hobo is the only race on track right now. Yeah, I think a lot of these cars are going to need a respray uh, before the next race. There's a lot of paint missing. Okay, Apple Hobo's just dropped back a little bit there. Travis can make any headway on the back of Splatter. Okay, we have a spinner somewhere. Okay, just covers that viney again. Yes, it is. Viney's not loving life tonight. But it's been very difficult. These very twitchy rear wheel drive cars. And a very old rear wheel drive car, to be fair. Yeah. True, true. Okay, so Travis really pulled up through that uh, complex of corners. So see if he can get in the toe. Did you, uh, Greg, did you manage to get hold of Adrian Newey and ask him for how uh, Slipstream is affected by wet weather, by the way? I did, and the funny thing is he asked me, who the hell am I, and hung up. Oh, okay. So, oh, yeah. never really got he an does, answer. He does look grumpy, actually, doesn't he? <laughs> well, he seemed a bit. So it's probably all those abusive emails he gets from Christian Horner all the time. <laughs> you I'm, stupid I'm old man, guess. make the car go faster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to guess that's accurate. <laughs> Well, where there's smoke and all that. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we've still got these two <laughs> going at it. I uh, don't like Christian Horner. Oh! Yeah. Airport, airport. 
Well, who does except for maybe Skanky Spies? Skanky Spies, yeah. <laughs> oh, Epoebo got the better launch out of the uh, that corner there, and He's Splatter's his holding wheel. his line. <laughs> Splatter's. <laughs> And look Whoa. at the cars are so scarred up. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. I think resprays required all around. Oh, it's a demo derby. Yeah, it's a bit of a wreck fest tonight, isn't it? Indeed. Gotta love it. Gotta love that these guys are still holding on to it and and, and racing as if their lives depend on it. <clears throat> yeah. You're here to have fun. Yeah, Travis nicely through there. Pulling up on the back of Splatter again. Is he going to go for it here? Nope. Uh, Splatter's not giving in. Oh, he's going wide. Oh, he's on the wet line. Oh. Wow, okay. Oh, can he hold on to it with, with right those wet tires? He must, he must be able to get him down here, surely. Yeah, okay. He and Hubbo are both showing water on their tires. Whoa! has got the worst of that. Oh. It's a little bit of a tweak there. Well done, Travis. That was epic work yes. to keep that in a straight line uh, going through the chicane. Well done. Well, not in a straight line, but you know what I mean, on track. Sure. Straight line is the last thing you want through a chicane. Um, <laughs> okay, let's just drop back to Splatter to see if he can... So they're both after Kobayashi Maru now with three laps to go. And Ladders so. ticking off the hundreds. Oh, he had to break much earlier. Oh, uh, now in the wet. Mm, so wide. Uh. Okay. Yes, that. Oh no, Cape Hang on. Obviously, he had a bit of a incident. Whoa. Oh, and a little tap. Two little taps, I think. But he seems to be breaking in odd places, but um. Yeah. Yeah. Travis hangs nice back because he is Kinda the nice gent he is. <clears throat> Seems like they're being able to go on the curbs a bit more now because Tra Travis is certainly taking advantage of that. He's breaking late as well. Ooh, he sure is. Oh, he must be. And as we know, Kobayashi Maru has the widest car in the entire paddock. <laughs> they have to uh, actually bring it in two separate lorries in halves and then bolt it together lengthways. Travis is biding his time. I think the last thing you want to be on in these conditions is rash. <laughs> so he's doing a great job, doing a great job. Okay, well, I better, too afraid. Go ahead. better jump up and see how which lap yeah. we're doing. Bloody hell. It's last I knew we got a fast a few. <laughs> That's on his last lap. Okay, we'll go back to Willy Weather. And no, nothing further expected. <clears throat> so Dan is ah. just coming. Okay, so he's going to go down through the kink up the chicane. Yeah. And then. I'll uh, keep an eye on Dan for you. Good man. So uh, yeah, top three. <laughs> there's a minute, there's a minute and three quarters between first and fourth. I think that paints a picture of this evening's race, frankly. And then there's a, one minute Final twenty corner. back to Spivey in fifth. Excellent. Final corner for Dan. And frankly, in a race that anyone could have won this, <laughs> this evening, <laughs> Dan <laughs> takes the win. Well done, <clears throat> mate. Congratulations. That looked. <laughs> Absolutely chaotic, uh, but hilarious at the same time. Um, although we weren't laughing that much. No, we were laughing uh, with them. We are with them, absolutely, at Mother Nature and her foibles. So, yeah, here goes Willie around the uh, Coca-Cola curve or whatever it's called and up for his customary spin across the line, but uh, that's not the first time he's done that this, morning, this evening. Or first time in intentionally, perhaps. Uh, Viney just coming across and <laughs> trying to do even more damage to his car. Uh, well done for sticking it out, Viney. That was uh, that looked like an absolute bloody nightmare. Merchilago.
coming through to take third. Well done. Yes, indeed, Sunday driver. That was, uh, well, tricky to say the least. Tricky to say the least. And uh, yeah, thank you for joining us, mate. Much appreciated. So we've got sheer luck. Um, yeah. He's miles back. So, uh, okay. Watch. Anyone racing? On behalf of my countrymen, I'd like to thank them for being uh, all the podium finishers today in the Fords. Yeah, no Americans driving them, mate. <laughs> Oddly enough. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, look well, at all Spivey's the Americans fifth. in the race. Spivey, no, what? Spivey's taken fifth. <laughs> that is epic. Oh, look at that. Oh, well done. And on the intermediates. Absolutely superb. Absolutely yeah, that played that excellent. absolutely beautiful. That was a sort yeah. of steady drive all the way throughout, and he reaped the rewards. It, That's yeah. absolutely yeah. superb. Sheerlax just comes 100%. through. Hundred percent. Yeah, Johnny Mackers. Yeah, Johnny Mackers. Up into the Christ. Okay, so that's that done. Uh, let's just have a look <laughs> at the final standings. <laughs> so, in what can only be described as an utterly chaotic race, um, we have Dan East in first in the Mustang. Uh, best lap of one fifty-seven point five. Yeah, nice one, Darlo. Thanks for joining me. Uh, in second, Willie Ham in the other Mustang, uh, best lap over 157.7. Merchilago in third in the Ford GT race car, 158.5. Sheerluck in the McLaren, 158.1 in fourth. Spivey, which I think is is his best finish ever, and I think he only had one stop. An absolutely epic drive from our friend who's back with us uh, from a little bit of a layoff. Well chuffed for you, mate. Fifth in the Lexus, 201.3. Johnny Mackers in the Lamborghini in sixth, which he, he could have finished anywhere, to be honest. So I think he'd probably actually be quite pleased about that in the end. A 158.1. Cowboy Ashimaru in seventh in the Alpha 4C. Great drive from Justin tonight, a 159.8. In eighth, Airport Hobo in the other McLaren, a 159.5. Splatter in the Porsche, a 201.1, sorry, in ninth. Tenth, MacGyver, who I think he may be up there with Viney for the most pirouettes of the evening. Um, in the V12 Vantage, a 159.5. King Racer in 11th in the Porsche, a 159.9. Viney in the McLaren, with a uh, rather dented McLaren, I suspect, in 12th. But uh, thank you so much for keeping it going, mate. That must have been so tempting just to jump off and <laughs> call it a night. But we really appreciate you uh, sticking around and uh, seeing it out. Well done, mate. Best lap at 2 minutes, point three. So congratulations to everyone for their fortitude for actually uh, actually uh, sticking with it this evening because uh, that, that was absolute mayhem in time. And yeah, at times, I am definitely going to watch it back, especially after the first heavy rain because that was absolutely hilarious. But um, right, so I'm going to pop over to the chat now, see who's about. So I'm going to drop off this one, Spiffy, yeah. Gotcha. It's a lap before me, didn't you? Uh, on that I, last I spun stop. coming out of the pits as well. I yeah, hit the wet see, that's coming out. Yeah, I, I, I left it one extra lap just to be yeah. safe because I had the cushion. And I think maybe yeah, yeah. that made the big difference because the first lap was clean and I didn't have any real incidents i went off mine once. was far from clean yeah <laughs> <laughs> good evening all good evening all good evening. Evening. well that that was um shall we say interesting we, we, yeah. we said stressful yeah. <laughs> yeah. well it was just that it was it, i think think it was so much when it rained a little bit it was when those massive downpours came and everyone was on mediums or whatever yeah, yeah. it was just absolute mayhem and uh, yeah, i can't wait to see that in the stream man <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah it, all well, cars going at snail's pace and spinning left and right <laughs> yeah there, there was one point where there was two cars coming down the back straight both doing 20 miles an hour yeah. side by side <laughs> and even then the car won't steal or break at all yeah i mean we were laughing but just just to be clear we were laughing with you yeah, yeah, of course you were. Of course I mean, were. I was too, to be honest, because I knew yeah. I can't save the ch shitty car anyway, man. <laughs> <laughs> I turned the TC to five and the car just went. 
yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. But uh, Dan, well done, mate. Um, Thanks. That was a bit of a well. It was the most random race I think we've ever had in terms of weather and conditions. But uh, you must be pretty pleased with that. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm sort of relieved and obviously really happy to have, to have won it. Um, but yeah, it was when that rain started, and um, you know, you just sometimes. You, you know, you look at the map, the weather radar, and there's the light greeny area, and you can get away with that on the slicks. And then there's the dark blue area, and sometimes you can get away with it a little bit. But then there were green and yellow patches as well, and you just didn't know when it was quite going to hit, and you didn't want to pit too early. And you know, it, it was quite, um, it was difficult to know what to do, what was the best thing to do. But I think that because the first three we all did basically the same thing at the same time every time yes. so we were just sort of covering yes. each other um which it it kind of makes it a bit easier um you're not sort of yeah. on your own pioneering um but yeah it was <laughs> yes. that was a tough race but that you must have seen on the um on the stream when it rained for the first time and i went straight on at the last chicane and then will went straight on at the last chicane and then I got reset and Will spun on the way into the pit lane and I managed to get back past, but it's so, just crawling along at it was walking pace. Yeah, it was absolutely chaotic and it seemed to almost be a bit of a, not a lottery as such, but the weather yeah. was sort of very, very changeable. All right, you can see the patches on the weather radar. Will, thank you so much for having your weather radar on, by the way. We could actually see it tonight. <laughs> so I, 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 you are now called Willy Weather. <laughs> every time <laughs> I want it that sounds weird it does sound weird yeah <laughs> but uh, that, well that's your name from now on because every time you wanted to see what the weather's doing we had to flip back up to you to have a look at your weather radar <laughs> so you're on it a lot tonight mate but um, oh, well, yeah hopefully spinning hopefully spinning oh yeah we got that as well yeah, we got that as well. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, Dan yeah. yeah congratulations I think you, know, you did all the right things I mean you made the best of a bad lot I think, I think it's fair to say because it was yeah, yeah it was chaotic absolutely chaotic yeah, that's all you could do Cheers, Mark, and indeed. well done to Will and Ryan Hart as well. Yeah, indeed, indeed. So, uh, Willie Weather. Hello. <laughs> you, you were up and down like the Syrian Empire, empire tonight, weren't you? you were, uh, there was lots of spins. Uh, yeah. But obviously, you, you did. You, you know, you did a great job to to bring home second, really. Yeah, it was great fun. The um, that first stint on the Inters, the the battle in between. Me, Reinhardt, and Dan, I thought it was great fun. Hopefully you yeah. got some of that. Yeah, There's yeah. Some proper back and forth stuff. Um, and then we all pitted at the same time, I think, on that first, first, yes, um, onto the dries. And then Dan explained about the first going onto the wets, or when, sorry, when we hit the wet patch, both of us had a bit of a nightmare. That was quite funny. Um, <laughs> you weren't alone, Willie. <laughs> no. And then um, it's, it's John I feel sorry for. He, he took the gamble to start on the mediums. Yeah which didn't work. He then pitted for fresh um, mediums and then yeah, it rained he... a lap afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you he could make it out of him. Exactly. twice, man. Exactly. Yeah, he, he, um, he lost out twice in that, in that weather, which is yes, unfortunate. Yes, he did. Indeed. Um, but yeah, Indeed. other than that, it was, it was good fun, but yeah, stressful race that. That's hard work. But um, hats off to Dan. He pulled away um, quite significantly. Once, once it dried up, uh, I think in the wet, both Reinhardt and I and him were all pretty similar. But then as soon as that dry line started to appear, he just sort of disappeared and in, into the distance. So it was um, just trying to hold it together to second in the end. Indeed, but you might be interested to know that there was one minute and 44 seconds between first and fourth, and then three minutes and 25 seconds between first and fifth. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Well, that, yeah. that's all about spins on the wet, though, isn't it? Like that, that uh, last, yeah. um, the last stint was 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 awful. Like you had a really dry line, but an anything off that line, like the curbs or onto mm. the damp patches, was mm. there was nothing. It was it different was so... to the other dry, the other dry stint. The whole track dried. On that one, it didn't. Yes. So if you went off it, it was that you were done, and that caught me. Yeah. Out, I think yeah. two or three well, it was, times. It, it was funny. We were talking about blue flags. Yeah, yeah. and I always said, well. If I was in that they position, I well, I would have, I would have been. If I was in that situation, I said, "Well, sod you behind me. You're going to have to wait until there's, there's a, there's a, well, no, 
no, no, he did the right. He he tried to do the right thing. He he pulled over to let me through, and then instantly spun. And I thought, well, that's not fair. No, exactly. But he's he's done the right thing. But then he spun immediately. What I would I would have said, sorry, you're going to have to wait for the dry line to be wide enough for me to let you pass. (laughs) Because <laughs> I'm not uh, yeah, going to well, pull onto the to the wet and, and just crash, completely yeah. knacker my race straight away. So yeah, uh, which is exactly it's an interesting what happens to one. Rob. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah. sure it happens more than Rob, but it happens to Rob right in front of me, and I thought, oh bloody hell. Indeed, <laughs> indeed. Okay, mate. Well, uh, thanks again for the weather radar. Sorry, I've, and uh, I've thanks for your on there. Thank you. Well, you know, congratulations <laughs> on your second place. Thank you, uh, Merchilago. Yeah. yeah. How are you finding the uh, Ford GT race car this evening? It looks like an, it looks like it's only about sort of a foot and a half tall. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's aerodynamic, but yeah, it's a bit um, um, not easy to drive. Um, I haven't driven it for a long time. It's actually my highest mileage car in Group Three class, but I haven't driven it in ages. Okay. But. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with P3. P- Nürburgring is not necessarily one of my strongest tracks. Okay. Of course, with the weather, I hope to be a bit more competitive, but um, yeah, I, I, I fucked up qualifying a bit, a bit, a bit too late for the mediums. Yeah. But P8 to P3, can't complain. A bit yeah, too got... many spins, but... Yeah, as I say, you weren't alone there, but you had a great start. Yeah, I was surprised by that myself because I thought I remember the Ford time was pretty terrible from the line, similar to the 911, but Cause you yes, were, I, I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, well, you, I think you started in eighth and then you were in third by T1, turn one, weren't you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, very good, very good. But congratulations on the third, mate. Very good. Thanks, man. And uh, I desperately wanted to say congratulations to Spivey for his fifth. Uh, which I think is his highest finish, but uh, he's not on chat, so I can't. So, Splatter! Hello. Did you enjoy that, mate? <laughs> you look like you're having an, awful, an enormous oh. amount of fun. I mean, the weather makes it so interesting. It really does make for an interesting race. Um, but as Willie's alluded to, my race was kind of against the blue flag system or anything else. Um, there was an occasion when I ended up taking out um, Matt because... I had blue flags being waved. I had two people behind me. I had no idea whether they were, you know, racing for position or actually lapping me. So right. I pulled over to let them pass. Um, Matt wasn't expecting it. I think he smashed in the back of me. He smashed in the back of the other car. He got a six-second penalty, and they got a three-second penalty. It was all a bit of a, a colossal, uh, you know, fuck up. Um, and then, yeah, obviously, <laughs> trying to let Will pass. Ended up spinning out as soon as I touched the wet stuff. Um, yeah, it was just, um, it was all over the show tonight, but, uh, I mean, this is never my favorite course. Um, it's not one I'm you know, anywhere near reasonable at, so it was okay. a tough one. Okay. It's so a, a reasonable finish in that case, then given oh, the conditions I mean, and it's not a favorite track. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But you've got Road Atlanta in Group Four to look forward to on Monday. So I know uh, we need to stop talking about it because it gives me sort of some sort of false sense of optimism that I might actually do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I think on Monday I did say you must be odds on for the win. So uh, just trying to heap yeah. on the pressure there, mate. Thank you. There was some heavy breathing <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Excellent. Well, you know how I enjoy that. So good stuff. Well <laughs> done, mate. And uh, I, I just I really do want to say. Thank you and congratulations to everybody. No one dropped out of the race this evening. Viney must have been teetering on the edge. <laughs> but, there, was a, there was a few. There was a few that were but, on the verge of rage quitting for sure. Yeah, exactly. Well, I don't think it was rage quitting. It's just you know I've had enough quitting. It was just yeah. there's nothing to do with anger about it. I think it was just a bit daft. But thank you to everyone for continuing the race. It was really was great. And uh, Spiffy, so we had some technical issues this, e- this evening, but we seem to weather the storm eventually. So thank you very much for your. Uh, company as always oh thanks mark it's always a pleasure and thanks for bailing us out <laughs> my pleasure man. my pleasure uh, obviously it was lacking all the uh, lovely stuff that you do uh, at the end but uh, we managed to get something out so that's the main thing uh, so uh, we didn't miss a thing it was great yeah <laughs> okay okay well look uh, thanks everyone for watching today i think we had uh, seven or eight at one point which is fantastic so thank you for taking time out of your evening to um join us i hope you enjoyed it um, if you're watching on replay thank you as well uh please do give us a like and subscribe because it just means the world to us and it makes our um league more visible on youtube and whatnot so 
Thank you, drivers all, for your fortitude and, uh, well, I don't know what you call it. Um, yeah, let's just call it Fortitude this evening for continuing going. Congratulations to Dan, Willie Weather and Merchie Largo <laughs> um, uh, on their podium positions. And uh, yes, we will see you at the next one. Cheers, Mark. Cheers, see you guys. guys. See Thanks, Greg. See you, see you guys. Bye. Bye. Oh, God.